Back in 2007, when I was still pursuing my music performance studies, and I know what you're thinking, he looks like he's in high school, but it's because I shaved this morning. Anyways, I really did graduate a couple years back, and every time I read about classical music, I kept coming across the same name, Gustavo Dudamel. As many of you know, Gustavo Dudamel is one of the best young conductors in the world today. In fact, at the age of 27, he was named music director of the Los Angeles Philharmonic. So every time I read about Gustavo Dudamel, his name was always followed by the statement, a product of Venezuela's El Sistema. So I started doing research to find out what all the, the fuss was about, this program in Venezuela, orchestra, and these great conductors coming out. Well, as I did my research, I found out that El Sistema, which means the system in Spanish, is the name of Venezuela's National System of Youth and Children's Orchestras. It was founded back in 1975 by Dr. Jose Antonio Abreu, who won the TED Prize in 2009. And since its founding 35 years ago, over a million kids have gone through the program. But currently, they serve more than 400,000 children in some 200 plus youth orchestras all across Venezuela. And the majority of the students that are doing El Sistema are living in poverty. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> the intensity of the program is amazing. They, uh, they go to these programs six days a week for up to four hours a day. And this intensity makes it both an excellent music program and it also keeps these at-risk kids busy and away from the, the lures of gangs, drugs, and violence that surround their communities. Despite being very at risk, the uh, top orchestra in El Sistema, named the Simón Bolívar Youth Orchestra, has become one of the best in the world. They travel playing all the greatest halls to sold out audiences. And this entire program is offered to Venezuela's youth free of charge. So the more I read about El Sistema, the more I thought to myself, I have to be involved in something like this because here is a way for me to use my art, music, as a way to change youth, families, and their communities. We often hear talk about you know, what we can do or what can be done to uh, make symphony orchestras or classical music more relevant these days. And I think a big part of the answer can be found in what they're doing in Venezuela. Because when you give a child an instrument and they're able to spend their upbringing in a youth orchestra, they're much more likely to want to go see an orchestra concert or be involved in classical music when they're grown up. But perhaps even more important than the survival of symphony orchestras is what they're doing in Venezuela to use music as a tool to foster social change. Last year, I did the Abreu Fellows program and I had the opportunity to go down to Venezuela to work with some of these students. And as I was preparing them, they're very talented for um, their next orchestra concert. They, uh, you know, I was being very demanding of them and I thought to myself, this is the way it is, this is how you get better. I want them to play you know, perfectly for their concert. Until one morning we had scheduled a rehearsal for 8 a.m. and we couldn't start until 9.30 because all the kids were late. And I, a rage came over me, I was livid. And I, I couldn't figure out what it was. You know, was it because they made me get out of bed at seven o'clock on a Saturday and had me there waiting for them for two and a half hours? Was it because we missed this precious rehearsal time and they were gonna mess up in the concert? Well, more and more I thought about it, that wasn't why I was so upset. I was so upset because by being that late for rehearsal, these kids were missing the entire point of being part of this program. You see, in teaching them to aim for excellence, in teaching them to aim for musical excellence, they were learning skills for life implicitly. I'll, I'll give you a few examples. The child that has to go home every day with their clarinet and practice meticulously and be prepared for the next day's rehearsal and then show up on time to rehearsals learning responsibility and time management. When these young kids spend hours in rehearsal learning to play in tune together and learning to blend their sounds to make one great orchestral sound. They're learning how to listen and how to consider other people's 
positions and difficulties because you may have to compromise with another instrumentalist to play in tune. They're learning empathy. When a child spends hours in a room going over a difficult musical passage over and over and over and over again, they're learning perseverance. They're learning that great things only come with quality, hard work over a long period of time. You know, one of the things I really enjoy about being in an orchestra is that every part matters. No matter if you're the violinist that has to play a million notes or if you're the percussionist that has to sit through the entire symphony to play that one final cymbal crash, everyone always has a voice in orchestra, in music. So when you combine all these musical elements, you get what I believe is the key to music changing the lives of young kids. Orchestra gives these kids a sense of self-worth. There's a, a great documentary called El Sistema, Music to Change a Life. And in it, a young girl tells the experience about um, how she got shot on the way to rehearsal. And she was crying. But she says, I wasn't crying because my leg was hurting. I was crying because I wasn't going to be able to go to orchestra that day. You see, music for these kids may not be able to put food on the table or pay for their rent, but it can feed their souls and it can uplift their spirit and instill in them pride. And we all know that once kids have these elements going for them, anything is possible. Five weeks ago, we launched the Atlanta Music Project, which is Atlanta's version of El Sistema. And in that short period of time, I can already see great changes in our students. I see the way they look up to me and to my fellow teaching artists, and I'm overcome with a huge sense of responsibility. Because while they may think that they're involved in a great after-school fun music program, and they are, I make no mistake about the situation. Our kids are in a social development program in which it is my duty as a musician and as a te teacher to transform their lives through music. We're trying to shift the perception of music as an extracurricular activity and turn it into an art form that the community cannot be without because it literally saves lives. Along with my colleagues from the Abreu Fellows Program, there are dozens of Elstama inspired programs popping up all over the United States, and together we've formed a movement, a movement to make music matter, a movement to use music as a weapon to combat hopelessness and poverty, and a movement to use music to instill in our youths the tools they need to be successful. Thank you. Please enjoy this video. We are very happy because we have this angel in the world. He is giving us the possibility to have dreams and to make through the, the dreams. And here is the result of this wonderful project that is the system. Hay tres esferas fundamentales en las que el impacto del sistema se expresa. La esfera personal social, la esfera familiar y la esfera comunitaria. Lo más miserable 
lo más trágico de la pobreza no es la falta de pan y de techo, es el sentirse nadie. Y es por eso que el desarrollo del niño en la orquesta y el coro lo proyecta con una identidad noble, lo convierte en un modelo para su familia y para su comunidad. Que aquí adentro no hay distinción ni de clases, ni de que si eres negro, que si eres blanco, que si tienes o no tienes dinero. Simplemente, si se tiene un talento, si se tiene una vocación y si se tienen las ganas de estar, pues simplemente entras, compartes y haces música de cualquier manera. I wish that you help to create and document a special training program for 50 gifted young musicians passionate about their art and social justice and dedicated to bringing El Sistema to the United States and other countries. Thank you very much.